Hello everyone, this is Steven from the Even Steven channel and today's video is going to be entitled How to Clean and Disassemble Your Clock. Now I have a decent amount of shooting experience. I've been shooting since I was 18, about 35 now. So I have a decent amount of experience to draw from and I don't know everything but I think I know enough to be able to talk intelligently about this. So one of the questions that comes up particularly for newer shooters is how often should I clean my gun? And there's really no set number for that, but I, if I had to put a number on it, I would say probably every four or five, four or five hundred rounds, uh, or whenever you start to see problems with your gun. But if you want to clean your gun every time you go to the range, you can. So as long as you're not doing certain things, as long as you're doing it uh, without going crazy, you can pretty much clean your gun every single time you go shooting. Some people also like to throw out the idea that maybe every six months if your gun is really kind of sitting in a a safe for a long time, maybe clean it every six months. How's that contrast looking? I think that's okay. Now, we live in an age where fortunately we really don't need to clean our guns that much because number one we have smokeless powder and smokeless powder is absolutely cleaner and more powerful than black powder and also not corrosive. And we also typically have non-corrosive smokeless powder. Unless you have some really weird surplus ammo, almost everything you're going to get out of a store, go walking into a store, buying it, walking out of a store, is going to be smokeless, non-corrosive. And that means you really don't have to be too crazy with cleaning your guns. If you were shooting black powder, you pretty much have to clean it as soon as possible or else it's just going to corrode and rust out your barrel. So for smokeless powder guns, it's, honestly, you really, don't have to, you really don't have to worry that much. However, you want to keep your guns clean. You want to be able to take them apart and clean them. So let's, let's do that. We start with this Glock Model 19. This is pretty much a stand-in for any kind of Glock because the Glock formula really isn't all that different across different models. Different calibers, different sizes, it's the same basic action to be honest. And I guess we'll start with the magazine. Now typically, let's see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a punch set and I'm actually going to use the smallest punch. But typically with a magazine, you'll see the base plate slides off a certain weight. You can see that there's a little seam here, so this should slide off right this way. So I should be able to just, hmm, hmm, no, okay. Typically you just push down on the tab and it slides right off. For whatever reason with the clock, there are these kind of holding tabs inside of here that kind of stop it from so easily coming off. So, so what you can do is get a small punch, kind of work this punch inside, squeeze a little bit on both sides right here, and kind of use that to uh, work it off. Now this base plate is under tension. So as you're taking the base plate off, keep in mind that the spring's gonna wanna fly out. That actually wasn't too much. But keep in mind the spring's gonna wanna fly out. And, well that's in there. And you want to make sure it doesn't pop out too much. Now I don't tend to use like patches all that much. I tend to use just simple paper towels. Because paper towels are kind of cheap. You can go into a store and buy a roll of paper towels for like a dollar. And I just kind of like start wiping stuff down. So if you haven't noticed this is going to be a full length video. Because I'm pretty much doing this as I'm talking. I'm pretty much cleaning my gun as I'm talking to you guys. So if you have any uh, reservations about watching uh, what's going to probably be like a 30 minute video, uh, that's fine. Now I've never really cleaned this magazine. You can see there's a lot of stuff building up in there. And I think just as best you can get a paper towel and clean in there as best you can. You can get patches and stuff like that, but I, I don't know. 
they don't seem necessary. Push it through, get as much as you can. Typically you really don't have to clean your magazines all that, all that much. In fact, this is the first time I've ever cleaned this magazine. I've never cleaned any of my Glock magazines. Because I uh, wasn't 100% sure I'd take them apart, to be honest. And as you're putting it back together, you make sure your, your magazine follower is going a certain way. Seeing as this is kind of on here, I'm sure you can take this off, but probably just better leave it on. This is going to go this way. This, I'm holding this in place. This tab is going to go forward. And at that point, you can kind of just slide it on. You don't worry too, you have to worry too much about these tabs. You can still kind of slide the base plate over the tabs. And that is how you take apart, clean, and reassemble Glock magazine. You really don't have to put oil in there. Um, in fact, probably don't. Don't put oil in there. Now, how do you take apart a Glock? Well, first of all, you should make sure it's unloaded. If you're ever going to do any kind of maintenance or cleaning on your gun, you should make sure it's unloaded. Magazine is out. You can actually lock it back, too, by pushing up while pulling back on the slide. Yeah, there's no way. I'm trying to do it while not flagging myself with the muzzle, but it's hard to do while doing it on camera. And physically look inside. Now for a Glock pistol, to take the gun apart, you must pull the trigger. And for some people that might be somehow disconcerting or... Uh, yeah, that's probably the word. Disconcerting or, you know, uneasy. Oh, what, I gotta pull my trigger? Well, it's just something you have to do. And this, the reason for it is because there is a sear in the frame that's physically holding on to the striker in the slide and this and the sear pulls it back and lets it go kind of like a slingshot so to take the gun apart you basically have to pull the trigger so you pull the trigger while making sure very sure it's unloaded and even when you pull the trigger it's probably a good idea to point in a safe direction or the safest direction possible now the striker is released, the sear isn't holding onto the frame, you're going to pull back on the slide ever so slightly as to not re-cock re it. And I, I tend to do it with one hand like this and now I'm going to pull down on both sides and let the slide go forward. At that point the slide comes right off. Now that, that seems like a very easy thing for most of us for people who have been shooting for a long time but for people who don't know, it's not the most intuitive thing. We got the Glock recoil. This is a double captive recoil spring, which is newer on the Glocks. They used to be, I think they were always captive. But they weren't always this double captive system where you have two springs going into each other. Focus. And I would not recommend taking that apart. I'm sure it can be done. But I think just wiping it down is just fine. I got the barrel, which kind of lifts out right there, lifts out from the back, and slides out. And again, I'm just going to take some, I've got a bunch of paper towels here, I left over some of those. I'm just going to start wiping things down as best I can. Trying to do a little further. So I get, yeah, I guess my paper towel was kind of obscuring all of this. Sorry. I didn't plan some of these things out. Wipe it down as best I can. Now, some people might ask, what about solvent? Do I need to use solvent? Uh, hmm. In my experience, no. Unless your gun is just really, really dirty. You don't need to use solvent either. My understanding is solvent is a, you know, this, this is a bottle I had lying around. Hops num number nine solvent. I, my impression is this is for when the gun is really, really dirty and you want some kind of harsh cleaner to go along with it. But otherwise, I don't think you need to use solvent at all. But the way you would do it, according to directions, that I'll just read. Saturate one patch well with hops number nine. 
push it slowly through the bore from breech and out to muzzle. Repeat working rod both ways. Now put on a dry patch. So basically you're going to saturate a patch with the solvent, run it through the bar run it through the barrel, let it sit a little bit, then run dry patches through it till it's until it's basically clear. You know, let it sit for five, ten minutes and run it out till it's clear. And then maybe put a smallest amount of oil and uh, put a very light coating of oil in the barrel. And that's more like for long term storage to be honest. We talk about, you know, this is the video's clean your Glock, which you should be shooting once in a while. Now Glock does include these two pieces. This is more of a, a pull through to put a patch on and run the patch through the barrel. Uh, but what you really want is a is the cleaning brush. This is the most useful thing. And just run it through. Wow, that's a little stiff actually. Oh. This is a little long and flexible, and that's not the, the most thing best thing you want. Although it does come it does come with the gun. And now we get a nice, nice clean. Let's take a look. I'll run that a few more times. Maybe I need to use some salt. Uh, I think it's better. I think it's better. And then again, I'm just going to kind of wipe down everything as best I can with paper towels. There are certain areas that are obviously more dirty than others. I'm trying to use a reflection to show it. You just go around wiping everything down as best you can. Uh, particularly over here, it tends to get dirty. The, where's my reflection? The breech tends to get a little dirty. Now this is another little trick I picked up, I think somewhere on YouTube, and I, if I knew, remember where it was, I would have said it, I, but I don't. Q-tips are kind of your friend. Because with Q-tips, you can do a couple of th different things. But one of the things you can do with Q-tips is, I'm going to hold this while I'm looking, oh, oh, not using the camera finder, is you can use the clean dirt. I'm, I'm kind of just giving it a once over, kind of looking over things. And Q-tips and Q-tips and paper towels are something that's relatively cheap, cheap. You don't need to buy expensive stuff. Get your gun clean. Okay, it's good enough for now. Similarly with this. Similarly, with the slide, you can see there's a bunch of buildup of carbon you know, fouling in the gun. Not too bad. I'm just going to wipe it down. I could probably, probably be a little wasteful with these paper towels, and then I could just rip them in half. And use smaller things, a little more like a patch. There's a lot, there's a lot in the magazine well here. And what you can do. Just wipe things down as best you can. I'm not going too deep because I don't want to make this video any longer than I can't than I am already. Just kind of wipe it down. This is something you could spend hours just going around and getting all the gunk out of your gun. That was a striker. That was a, it looks like that was a sear. So another question that might come up is, should I take the slide apart? Now you can take the slide apart, or start to take the slide apart, by relieving the tension here. I think I got that right. Yeah, relieving the tension here, which will allow you to pull up on this back plate, and take the back plate off. Um, in my experience, you really don't need to take the slide apart. It generally doesn't get dirty enough to really warrant it. 
So for just general routine maintenance, I'd say no. Let's leave it together. Similarly with the slide uh, frame, you really don't need to take the pins out and take the whole gun apart. It's not necessary. So let's see. Now let's get to oiling the gun. Let me let me get to oil. And the question that might come up is, what kind of oil should I use? And I just use simple Hops Number no. Nine Gun Oil. Just gun oil. I don't use canola oil. I don't use grease. I don't use deer urine. I use gun oil. Let me see if it actually says uh, gun oil on it. Yeah, for firearms, fire fishing reels. Why not? Uh, it's inexpensive. It's proven, and I don't know. It just just came with my kit, and I kept using it. So I just use gun oil for my guns, surprisingly. Now, how do we oil the gun? What do we do? Do we just drip it on there? What do we do? Another little trick I found on YouTube that I wish I knew where it came from, because I would have uh, attributed to the person, is take the Q-tips and saturate Q-tips with oil. What that allows you to do is kind of put a thin coating of oil on the gun. Because too much oil will actually attract dirt, and you don't want that. Too little oil can accelerate wear. And you want that either. You want a kind of the minimal amount of oil. Let's just put a little more in there. It's probably too much. So now where do you put the oil? And generally you're gonna put oil wherever you think two metal surfaces are going to be rubbing against each other. So that would include the slide rails. A little bit there, a little bit there. Uh, this, is that locking block? Maybe over here. That's the, uh, was that the firing pin block? Maybe over here. Over there. I don't know. I think that's this here. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know what everything will think is called. A little bit of dirt on there. Maybe a little bit over here, over there. You know, whatever you think metal surfaces are going to be rubbing against each other. This is a very obvious place because you can see the wearing. You see the wear marks on the gun. I don't think you really have to saturate the whole barrel in oil, but we're going to. Maybe we'll hear on the, that's the, the locking area. Check that. Yeah, it seems to be wearing right there. I'm not sure if this needs it or not, but we'll do it anyway. Maybe a little bit over there. Wow, this tip's a little dirty. I'm going to put a little bit on the side here, even though it probably doesn't need it. That's a little too much. Even though you probably don't need it here because it's not really wearing anywhere. I'm gonna do it this for fun. I don't know. Again, a very light coating. As light as you can not nothing, but a light coating. And then you just put it back together. So we're gonna take the slide, put the barrel in the slide. It's gonna go like that. Recoil spring. This is the Gen 5. So but I think almost always you're going to have a smaller thinner part in the back and the wider part in the front. That's going to go in there. And you're trying to get this. I'm trying to remember if it's this one or this one. One of those two spots. A lot of times when you rack the slide it's going to fix itself anyway. And then just put it back on the on the frame. Now the easy part is when you go back to put the slide on the frame, it's going to automatically go over this. So you don't have to, you don't have to, I got a little bit of paper towel on there. Got it out. Uh, when you go put the slide back on, it's going to lock itself back up. And it's going to, to automatically go over these takedown tabs for you. You don't have to pull them back down. And then I think I'm just going to give us a good wipe down. 
Maybe a little bit in there sometimes. We get some dirt in there. You really don't need to put oil on the plastic or the frame because there's nothing rubbing against it and plastic doesn't rust. So, well, pretty good. And then when you have the gun back together, it's always a good idea to make sure it's working properly. It's hard. I don't know if there's a way for you to put this back incorrectly, but it's always going to make sure it's working. So, I'm going to rack slide through a few times, pull the trigger, slide again, pull the trigger, hold it. That's actually important. Make sure it's resetting properly. Yep, oh, it did. Alright, so that is pretty much it. That is my video on, where's my case? How to clean and disassemble your Glock as I see it. Now, I don't know everything about everything. However, I do like to think I know enough to make this video. I'm just going to hold it. Um, and I hope this has been informative, and if there's any mistakes that I have, like I said, I don't pretend to know everything. If there's anything I got incorrect, or maybe could have done better, leave it in the comments. I'll try to, maybe I'll try to incorporate it into the video itself. And that's it. That's my video on how to clean and disassemble your Glock. This has been Steven from the Even Steven channel. Thank you, and goodbye.